Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow, and uh, I want to do an update on this uh, video I did just a couple days ago because there has been uh, new information that's come out, as well as the dogpiling on this Andrew Callahan continuing in spite of it. Uh, someone left me a, a comment, and I don't think they were being mean-spirited or anything, but it was like, Comic Crow believe a victim challenge, impossible. And look, here's my problem. Okay, so I dropped this video just a couple days ago, and the very next day, Andrew Callahan responds to sexual misconduct claims, says alleged victim asked for money. And this is from a TMZ article, so it take take I mean take everything from media with a grain of salt. But they say a source with direct knowledge tells us Caroline requested money from Andrew, referencing the fat check he got from HBO for his documentary. She allegedly asked to be paid just minutes before the doc aired. So if that's true, and I would imagine Andrew probably has that evidence to provide for people because he is making that claim through his attorneys, not not going on to his show, not doing uh, like, like a podcast with somebody else and revealing this. He's responding through his legal attorneys. So I would say that that carries a, a little bit more weight. Then, then running onto Twitter and dropping a bunch of anonymous allegations from random women, and then having another woman come forward at, uh, before all that and saying, "Oh, we went to a bar together. He he got me drunk and I was intoxicated and I couldn't actually properly consent. And I did consent, but I didn't mean to consent." This Andrew Callahan thing is a fucking joke. Okay, I I am not gonna mix, I'm not gonna mix words here. It is a joke all right this entire story is a massive joke it's making a complete mockery of actual victims and again even in spite of this even in spite of his attorneys being involved and saying hey she was demanding money from this guy before his documentary came out which was what end of december and then a week later drops allegations that to me i think that to most people sounds directly like hey, there's something really shady going on here. Does that really matter to people uh, in media or people that just want to dogpile, destroy this guy's reputation, show that they're with it, they understand, they, 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 hate, they, they hate men who abuse women? Uh, well, look, ob obviously we know what the uh, response is. So this is from Daily Beast, and I I'm not going to read through the entire thing because it's Daily Beast, but Tim Heidecker dumps Andrew Callahan over sexual assault allegations. His, his quote from the article is, we believe these women that came forward. I, I, I fuck this uh, Tim Heidecker guy, like, like straight up fuck that guy. You have one woman who came forward, said, I consented, I didn't mean to consent, and I was drunk, okay? You have another person who says, well, we had consensual sex, but I didn't like it, and then the second time, he, he tried to force himself onto me, and, and we did it, but I, I didn't want to. This doesn't sound credible at all, okay? At fucking all. The rest of the women that are coming forward are dropping anonymous comments on TikTok saying, oh, oh, my friend knew uh, his friends and they say that he does this behavior all the time and it will never stop. We went through some of those comments, by the way. Okay. We went through some of those comments. What One of them was, I went to a high school that was nearby the high school he went to. And, um, um, I, this isn't the first time I've heard a story and I'm, I'm laughing to myself cause I'm like, this is, this is insane. All right. This is making a complete and absolute mockery of women that are actually abused. Instead, what you have now is a woman that is trying to get money from him, doesn't get the money from him, and then drops an allegation a week later. You, you do realize that if his attorneys are saying that, they're probably going to be taking legal action, right? Meaning they have the evidence because, again, this was only a fucking week ago. This was only about a week ago from his documentary releasing from when she demands the money to when she puts her allegation out there. And again, I know what some people are going to say. Well, well, I mean, that's just a claim from his attorneys. Well, also TMZ says that they verified with a source that has direct knowledge. So I... I'm, I, I don't know what you want to say to that, but what it does sound like is exactly what I thought it was from the beginning, 
okay? And there are way too many stories that smell exactly like this shit, and they keep getting put out there. People keep eating it. People keep people keep buying it. People don't give a shit. And then the dog pile begins. Because again, now we have violated, confused, and incredibly disrespected. Another woman accuses Andrew Callahan of sexual misconduct. One woman who went on a Tinder date with popular All Gas No Breaks and Channel 5 host and filmmaker says he wasn't taking a simple no for an answer. Did, did, she, did she then consent? Did she then consent? Does it even matter anymore? Does it even fucking matter anymore? It doesn't. These women have no agency whatsoever. If they consented, but later they regretted to it, that actually means that she didn't consent in any way, shape, or form. Now, my thing is, she goes, oh, Callahan kissed her, poured wine on her chest, licked it off. They were asked, she said, she consented to, even though she was somewhat uncomfortable. Enough of this bullshit, okay? I'm done. I am done with this, okay? I don't care that when he was 19, he went on a Tinder date with someone who was 18 and they were flirting pretty hardcore. But she says, actually, she was, I, 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 no, no, we're not doing this game. We're not doing this stupid fucking game with people. We have one woman who's come forward, okay, and is demanding money before she drops her allegation. We have another woman who say, well, when I was 18 and he was 19, this way back in 2016, um, oh, oh can, can, can I get my name out there? Fuck off, okay? And let's be very clear. Let's be very clear. Why would women lie? Because look at what happened. Look at what's going on. You have baseless claims that do not have any evidence to support them. OK, you only have these women's word and they are being blasted out all over social media as victims and you can't question them. We need to support them. Why would any woman not lie? You're going to blast her out there. You're going to make her famous. Her name is going to be all over social media and she gets to destroy the man that didn't give her what she fucking wanted. There, there's a reason. There's a reason why women would lie. So, so, and again, it doesn't even need to be that. Women can just be crazy, vindictive, money, fame. Pick whatever reason you want to pick and then also say, but she could be telling the truth. Here's my issue. If his attorneys are saying, hey, she was demanding money from him a week ago and then she drops her allegation. We have TMZ, which again, again, I'm not saying that they are the most credible outlet, but it was a TMZ. Uh, 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 it was a TMZ guy that originally dropped the story in the first place. Now TMZ is saying, "Hey, they have a source that's saying that you know she was demanding money from him." Okay, okay. You do not have anything here. You do not have anything here. This Tim Heidecker guy, right? I'm sure he's just like, "Hey, just throw him under the fucking bus. It's not worth my trouble." He probably did it anyways. Fuck this guy. Uh, honestly, Andrew Callahan should go through every single individual that he's ever associated with, figure out if they're going to actually back innocent until proven guilty. They're actually going to take his side of the story and consider it. And if they're not going to do that at all, Andrew Callahan should remove them immediately from his life because he's going to recover from this, guys. He will recover from this. This is completely baseless. He's probably going to go the Andy Signor route and, and, and actually start suing these accusers because why wouldn't he? They don't have the evidence and apparently he's got them asking him for money. You, you tell me what you guys think in the comment section, okay? Because here's my problem. What I will be told is, well, he's just claiming that. Well, she's just claiming that. There you go, stupid. You don't have anything. Here's the thing, though. She's not responding through attorneys. She's doing it all on fucking TikTok. Andrew went to his lawyer. Who do you think's going to win that fight? Honestly, you can say, well, I still think he did it. OK, but but be, be realistic with me. If he chooses to sue, do you not think that she will withdraw the allegation? She'll probably try to get money from him first. Right? Because, because, like, look, Andrew, I'll withdraw the allegation. If you just give me 20 grand, it's cheaper than hiring these attorneys. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, man. I, 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 I wow. Fucking wow. And again, do not get this wrong. 
media will continue to dogpile on this guy. This is from a Tinder date in 2016. She's just now coming forward. Oh, he terribly abused me. I do not believe you. I see a clear profit motivation for why you're doing it. And the fact of the matter is, because the people going after this guy are, are all from like the left, okay? They're all listen and believe. It doesn't fucking matter. Yes, false accusations happen, but it doesn't happen that often. So we're like, you know, we're like probably like 95% right anyways. And if we are wrong, well, too many men abuse women. We should just ignore that and keep destroying his fucking reputation, his career, because he deserves it. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can feel it when I'm reading this shit. I can feel it when I'm reading the fucking replies on Twitter. These people don't care. They don't give a shit. They see an opportunity to destroy someone and they leap for it.